It's honestly a wonderful experience, you know, something new, something I didn't expect me to do, especially this early in my life or this late in my high school career. I didn't expect myself to, you know, pick up a new thing and well, just run with it. Honestly, it's more than barbering. It's learning patience with people and it gives you skills that, you know, is going to help you in life, like earning money and, you know, just dealing with people and managing different people's personalities. My plans after high school, honestly, is, um, you know, go to college. I don't know what I want to major in, probably, you know, something psychology-wise or something like that of that nature. But barbering, honestly, helped me with that reason-wise because to do psychology, you have to understand other people's emotions and how to, you know, help people. You know, barbering, I mean, we see our barber how many times as a male. You know, male clients see our barbers and some of them get really comfortable with their barbers. So, you know, that's gonna give me a little bit better background when it comes to um, psychology. It's, it's a joy, it's, it's a blessing, it's, it's the most needed escape from you know school because everybody is, you know, you ask a lot of the teenagers, you know, how they feel about school, they don't just like it, but to learn something hands-on and a skill that we as, you know, students feel like we're gonna use in the future, it's, it's a blessing. I love it. It gives me something to look forward to every day and it's really the light of my day. My favorite part of this program would be going to clinic because it gives me a chance to work hands-on with every, all the skills that we've been working on through class. I think they're seeing themselves now a little bit different from the rest of the students, that they are part of the medical personnel. It actually gives them a boost of confidence, I really feel. My favorite part about the medical program would be that hands-on experience about helping other people. It gets us ready to be independent, um, responsible, and just to be ready for life. Being at Roosevelt High School, I teach culinary arts, um, and we really get a sense of the community with the students at Roosevelt. Um, the students that are in my class know each other very, very well, um, and that really transpires into the work environment in the classroom. This is their community, this is their home. They feel comfortable. Our students are coming from all different populations, all different home backgrounds. Um, some have different aspirations for the future, but the diversity is our strength because they all bring something unique to the table. My experience in the nurse assisting program has been super hands-on. It, it feels like I'm going into a completely different building. It feels like I'm in like a regular school and then it feels like I'm on like a TV show set with like a real medical feel, like a medical room, medical equipment. When you first come, it's like, oh, what am I doing? But once you like get into it, it's really interesting. They teach you how to be a police officer. My favorite thing about police science is doing blood spatter um, to determine when the blood is on the floor, how many feet and where it comes from, or the foot casting. Basically, it's, if it's like a footprint on the floor, you put cement over it and you determine what kind of shoe it is and what kind of prints. And then the fingerprinting, how to roll the fingerprints to determine what fingerprints are which ones. Everybody has different fingerprints. I want to go to John Jay and then I want to go to law school to be a defense attorney. At Barry Tech, you're getting um, a mixture of kids from all different districts that don't know each other. They're all so different from one another and bring different things to the classroom that um, I think it's great for these kids that they you get to experience that you know it's a little bit different at Baldwin because for the most part they know each other and when I start with them I like to say that there's a reason why you're here and you're not at the high school and that you've chosen this program to become part of it and I like to assure them that we'll take that and we'll make it a better situation that this class that they're gonna take is going to make them better off. Perfect, you're like a poster child. <laughs> I 
I never thought like I would be. Better focus on what's. <laughs> You're awesome, Derek. You need to look at the camera or me. Okay. Just keep your voice nice and loud. Okay. okay. That's not a problem. Okay, so my nerd, like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Can it's I okay. just keep going? Can yeah, I just start? Yeah. Just keep going. Okay. So. Good. I didn't yeah. sound like a dummy. <laughs> so where is this all going? Um, it's a big deal. That was my first experience doing a learning service project at Rosabella. Oh. Oh, good. It's the fire drill. More independently, then then I get here. <laughs> Custodians just started sweeping the idea. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, can't tell. I mean, I who knows how much people could see, but I'm yep. just like, there's this blue thing going back and forth. There he goes again. Okay.